Hey there, it's Mink and welcome to my very first episode and perfectly fitting for me uh, it's going to be about how to draw cat faces. Let's get right starting. I have my very cheap ass glove here that I put on my pen. Alright, so uh, <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is to draw the cat face from the side and from the front. Um, I'm not doing any more complicated angle um, because it would be too much for the beginning, like it's my first episode. Uh, please go easy on me. Um, yeah. <clears throat> So I have everything right here and we will start with the front view. So what you need is at first a pretty simple circle. Uh, let's make it right here. Okay, and cross to determine the middle and the I hate. Okay, and we determine also how big the eyes are going to be and make in the middle of these two lines another mark. And starting from there, we are going to make another circle which will be important for the mouth and such okay um, you want to make it so big that it uh, goes beyond the first circle like you have here uh, a small gap and we are going to draw it the center line of this circle too. Um, <clears throat> what we can do now is well, draw some circles for the eyes, very simple. And uh, the position of the nose is above this center line, so it's about here and we just draw a very simple triangle that's right and we can draw also the lines connecting to the eyes and we make a little line here that goes straight down and then we start with the mouth. We make a small triangle at first and then we steepen up a little bit. Yes, looks cute already. Uh, okay, so next thing will be the ears. Let's say the ears, but before that we have to flatten the head a little bit because the top of the head is not really round but it's kind of flat and also it's not that high so we have to do this here all right and then how we can do the ears um, for that we are drawing these lines which are slightly curved and start from the from the inner corner of the eyes, right? And the other, so these are these are going to be the spots where the ears are going to start. And the other point is about the eye height, right where the center line is. And here we want to make it 
uh, a little bit angled like you see this would be straight up but we want to make it a little bit angled at first and here we have a steeper angle which is slightly curved and we connect these two lines so this cat has very big ears very very good ears and on this side the same let's make it the same height too all right and connect it looks good to me kind of um, and then here at the back also those two lines Very nice. Let's make it these lines to indicate where the ears are about. And then the chin. The chin. We didn't do the chin yet. This little cute chin. Alright. Don't make it too small. They have very kind of broad chins actually. Uh, and then a little bit for the, uh, the, the shape is I like it to make it kind of this boxy shape uh, this kind of box shape but you can of course choose another shape to so the, well, I have to say this is just one version of how to draw a cat. There are many different breeds, of course, and every different breed has a different uh, shape of the face too. So you have to differentiate. But this one is rather uh, a very common from the common house cat, and, and from from the knowledge of this one, you can derive to the other breeds kind of uh, what's still missing is to add some details to the eyes um, so we have this low uh, these inner corners which are starting right there where it connects to the nose bridge and the outer eye corner is very high like here and so we are connecting and those two corners and we get this nice shape already looks like very cat like it's very really nice okay and yeah the eyes with the the iris uh, it depends on how, not the iris, uh, the pupils. Uh, the pupils um, size depend on how much light is incoming. Uh, so very wide would be really dark and uh, bright sunlight it would be just a slit. So let's go with kind of this eye size, this is fine. Yeah, that's nice. That's already very cutie, very cute cat. Alright. Yes. Okay, um, I think we made all the uh, sketching and uh, we can go over to the details so for that I will lower the opacity and add the details so let's start with the nose um, <clears throat> I tried to find out why the noses are actually wet, uh, the cat's noses and also the dog's noses. What kind of scientific reason is behind that? 
but I wasn't able to find anything out. It's kinda a mystery actually. Um, uh, there are many theories, but I didn't remember all of them. You can read them. Just Google why. Uh, are cats' noses wet? Um, I would like to, uh, would have liked to tell you, but no. Nah. Too bad. Uh, but there could be some reasons why the cat's nose are dry. Uh, so you have to be very careful. If it's all the time dry, well, some cats' uh, noses are actually just warm and dry all the time. Uh, but still healthy, then you don't have to worry at all. Um, however, if it's normally um, if it's normally wet and uh, and cold, and then for a long time very dried out, then you have to worry a little bit. And it could be an indication that your cat is sick. Um, if it's just for a short time, uh, then it just could be that it's really dry right now, uh, or the cat didn't drink enough, uh, uh, or from my experience, the cat's nose is very dry right after they slept. Um, and I really like to poop on the, on the noses of the cats and if I see that the cat's nose is dry then ah I know she slept for a very long time actually uh, yeah <laughs> I like to do that um, I'm doing these dots for the whiskers which I will add later and yeah. pooping the nose of cats is one of the fun parts of life oh yes but not that fun for them that's for sure. <laughs> it gets so annoyed by it. Um, so yeah, I mentioned before that I'm a huge cat freak. Um, and I was like that um, all my life actually. Um, because um, when I was born, my mother already had three cats and uh, yeah I can show you a picture of them actually so right now somewhere here uh, it should be added uh, and on the picture you have the three cats uh, Mousy the scaredy cat mm, very frightened of everything uh, then Katty, who is kind of the boss, was the boss of those three. Um, and Benjamin, which is the German pronunciation of Benjamin. Uh, but we just called him Benny all the time. And, well, he was my best friend. For a very long time when I was a small kid. Um, also because, well, the cats did not really like me. I mentioned they were already there when I was born. So was I was a small kid or even a baby. And small kids usually don't know how to treat animals uh, or anybody or anything properly. Um, you have to learn it and so yeah I was like torture for them <laughs> and 
uh, Katie and Mousy kind of never really forgave me for that. They really just avoided me all their life. Uh, but Benny actually kind of liked me. Uh, I don't know if he just didn't care. I think my fear is he's just too cool to, to really care. I mean, look at him. I look at him. Yes. So cool. Just too cool to care. Oh yeah. Uh, um, ah. Anyway, so yeah, I loved him very dearly. He had also a very uh, nice white spot on on his breast. Looked have, uh, always looked like he was very proud of it. <laughs> uh, and yeah. Um, so after those three, we had Minky and Flinky. I can show you a picture of them too. Should be somewhere here right now, I guess. Um, yeah. So this time I was also a part of choosing them. I went together with my mother to the animal shelter and right there it was very clear to me that I wanted those two uh, Flinky uh, who is this one uh, actually jumped on uh, on our backs and was really really happy to see us and just wanted to go with us uh, and they kept Minky at the back because um, she was actually kind of hurt back then. Um, they found them at the park. And we have the theory that some dog attacked them or something. And she ha uh, Minky had many bruises on her belly. Uh, well, all her whole belly didn't have any fur and was full with injuries. And she didn't look uh, that did not really look that healthy, but still okay. And she was uh, still very lively and also very happy to see us. Very curious. Uh, and she is really such a nice cat. She was so lovely. Um, and yeah, so we took the uh, the names also. Uh, well, Flinky, well, Flink uh, is German and mean, means quick. As simple as that. So yeah, just Flinky. Huh? Uh, and Minky, well, that's my nickname. Well, how do you how do you say it? Uh, because uh, nickname is not really correct. But normally, wouldn't you think if you say nickname that people uh, call you this name instead of your real name, right? But never, uh, but nobody actually calls me Mink. Um, even if I call myself uh, in the internet and in games like that. Uh, but yeah, you could say, you could say artist name, but that's also not really fitting because it's well, it started with the Zelda games. I. Well, my actual name is Manuel, and I just called myself Mink because of the hero Link. Uh, as simple as that. Um, so yeah, it's like pseudonym, or how do you say? Uh, let me know in the comments um, if you know kind of how I could call it. 
Bros. I don't really know. So yeah, slowly but surely we're getting somewhere. Uh, looks like a cat, I would say. Would you say? I hope so. Uh, if not, then um, well, I'm fucked. Uh, right there, we make make it a little darker spot at the mouth, so it kind of looks like it's opened a little bit and makes it very cute looking. Yes. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we have this kind of fur in front of the ears. Uh, it's not good. Okay. Let's draw it there. Very sweet. Very sweet cat. Uh, yeah. Um, let's indicate a little bit of the body right here. Yes. And then the whiskers. Uh, how do you say? Do you also say whiskers for the long hairs above the uh, above the eyes? I don't know. I, I just call them whiskers. And of course, here they go very much to the side and uh, can be very long. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Turns out okay, let's say. Hmm? I hope you would say that too. Um, yeah, so those are the base. Oh, yeah. Um, let's make a little bit more hair right here. So, yeah. Um, I won't color this one. You can take the way this is. Oops, okay. Um, I won't color or do any fur patterns for this one uh, because I want to leave it up to you and I don't want to waste too much time for this I just want to show you how you construct the, the face uh, to a very basic um, outlining of the, of the of the shape uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, so we can go to the side view and in this case we will start with a perfect circle but a little bit shaped like an oval like an like an egg not too much. Uh, I made it a little bit too, too high. Alright. Mm -hmm. I'm not very good at drawing these shapes right. I'm beginning perfectly, but it's, it's fine, okay. Yeah. Uh, we make the center lines again. Also, this one here. Uh, because this will be important for the position of the ears. This time. Um, yeah, and again, we start with this line for the, uh, for the eye size. Uh, make we make this little mark at the middle and then we also have this section we'll go a little bit down here and then the circle starts around there And we make a center line again. And 
Now for the position of the nose, uh, you can now decide how long is going to be the 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 mouth, the snout. Oh, uh, I don't know. Um, so the, the nose position is again above the center line, but depending on how long you want to make the mouth, you move forward or backwards. So I want to make it a little bit back from the border of the circle. And we make this triangle here, right angled triangle. And from there, the, we made the nose bridge, which starts from this middle section. Uh, okay, and the eyes, I make this circle here. Creative about how long mouth is going to be. Maybe move a little bit up of the fin. Yeah, I forgot it. I don't need the fur yet. It's just a sketch. Uh, yeah. Uh, very steep chin here. There again, you can choose freely how you want to make it look like there is no only one correct way to make it. Um, yeah, and about this, um, where the center line is, you make the transition to the neck. Um, yeah. So again, first we make, we correct the head shape a little bit, which is a little bit flattened again. We make these two straight lines to indicate, and then we smoothen them off a little bit. Mm -hmm. And now to the ears. So. The start of the ear is right where the center line is. The end is it almost to the almost all the way back um, from this circle. And the other point is we make half here and the other point is a little bit next to this intersection and connects with this other point right there here and now um, as for the ear we go pretty straight up and connect it very curved line and the back of the ear mm -hmm. and behind that we have the other ear which can be a little bit the front if it would be perfect side view it would be right out behind this one but never mind and yeah uh, so the neck is continuing right here. It's, it does not follow the the oval, but goes like this. Okay, that's fine. 
and yeah so for the eyes you don't start right here but about the middle of the circle and make it make it just open here yeah. and for the lower lid you have kind of a transition to the cheek so you continue this line here and pull it down I think I made, I made the eye position a little bit too far inside of it. Ah, it's really good. Oh my god, this is not good. I have to draw. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's, that's how she is. Uh, come on. What the hell? How did it feel? Not looking at it. Okay. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so I need a little bit. So. Okay. So back to the eyes. So let's open that here and we have the pupil again, which is not too far at the front, a little bit to the back. Okay, so that's about the basic sketch. Uh, looks looks okay. So I lower the opacity again. What is it? Hmm? Wanna say something to the camera? No? Are you shy? Don't take the camera. I want to have this kind of thing here. This what my mother uh, gave me as a present, as a decoration, because you know, otherwise I don't have really much. Uh, and I put my candies inside there, but she always, always steals the candies out of it. It's really annoying. <laughs> she, I don't know what she wants to do with them. Just play with them or eat with, eat them. <sighs> It's, she is very difficult, I tell you. So yeah, those two are my cats. Uh, I got them for myself. I live with them alone here in this apartment. Uh, and their names are Hanami, this cheeky little brat, and Hoko. And... They already sound very Japanese, and they are Japanese, <laughs> uh, clearly. This was... Uh, their original names are actually not like that, they were something like that. I think she was named Sunny, or she was... And some other name, I don't know. I didn't like the original names, so I named them myself. And I searched for various... Uh, Japanese words, just any words um, which are fitting attributes um, for those two. And Hoko is very simple. Um, Hoko derives from the Japanese word Hokkori, uh, which means warm and fluffy. Yeah, so. I just omitted the D 
at the end, and there we have Hoko. Uh, the name already sounds kind of warm and fluffy, the Hoko, like imagine some hot potato or something like that. It's not very fluffy, but it's hot. And imagine the fluffy part. Uh, uh, yeah, so this is very simple. Um, but Hanami is not that obvious. Um, if you know a little bit about Japanese, then you may know that Hanami is actually a festival in Japan at the springtime. Uh, the Cherry Blossom Festival, where the Japanese people go out to see cherry blossoms and they have um, big parks with a lot of cherry blossom trees and it looks very gorgeous and it's a tradition to go with your family and have a nice picnic and maybe drink some beer or whatever um, you could also go with your colleagues and it's very nice uh, but uh, yeah, so on this festival is called Hanami, uh, which is constructed by the two kanji Hana, which means flower, and Mi, which is, which comes from the word Miru, which means to see. So to see the flowers. Uh, pretty simple. But that's not the name of my cat. This doesn't make much sense. It doesn't have anything to do with cherry blossoms or flowers or anything like that. Um, but the name actually comes from the word Hanamizu. Um, it's constructed by the two words uh, Hana, which means, in this case, uh, nose, and Misu means water, so nose water, which is snot, yeah, snot. <laughs> uh, so Hanami has the problem that she got uh, some kind of defect, I don't know, um, well she has sneezing attacks several times uh, per day even, when she just catapults her snot which uh, accumulates a lot in her nose. Uh, and when it gets too much, uh, she spreads it all over the place. And you have to be very careful. Uh, sometimes she kind of announces it, but you know, like the. <laughs> she does something uh, similar to that, and then you know, okay, it's starting, let's get out of here or throw away or something <laughs> just build up distance otherwise you will be covered in snot uh, uh, and also she has some coughing and this kind of stuff. So, so yeah if you uh, ah, I think I missed the I moved the frame it's not good. Uh, if you see her coughing in some of my videos, uh, then don't be afraid, don't worry too much. Um, it's just something that she just ha kinda has to live with. She is otherwise totally healthy and just has this coughing and sneezing uh, every day, but. Other than that, she's totally lively and 
uh, energetic, sometimes too energetic. Uh, uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it, it's totally fine. Um, and but I, I don't know. I don't know uh, where it comes from. And the uh, doctors at the animal shelter also didn't know. Uh, they tried everything. Uh, all sorts of antibiotics and treatments and whatnot. Uh, but couldn't figure out what's the cause and how to cure it. And it seems like she had it already all her life. And when I got her from the shelter, she was already um, eight. It was it nine? nine I think eight years. Yeah, uh, eight years old. Um, maybe it was one of the reasons why the previous owners gave her to the shelter. Well, those two were given to the shelter together. Maybe they are sisters? When somebody told me that those two could be sisters, even if they look very different. Um, yeah, well, if some, if two very different looking um, cats are mating, then maybe it could work off like that? I don't know. Uh, maybe you can let me know in the comments. Uh, if it's really possible or not. Uh, and yeah. So yeah, well, this was one of the conditions that I gave to the people at the animal shelter that they had to be already together or they get along with other cats very well uh, so they have somebody to play with or to be with together when I'm when I'm going out And yeah, those two actually get along very well. They still fight sometimes. Uh, well, it's just normal. Cats just do it. And they still have to find out who is the more dominant one and this kind of stuff. Uh, but they are all very sweet to each other. And clean each other, kiss each other, it's so sweet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe you're lucky in some of my videos, in my future videos, you will see them how they are nice to each other and lick each other. I hope so. But for now, you can trust me, they are, they are like that sometimes. Uh, yeah, so here I'm actually getting to the end. And pretty much looks cat like already, I would say at least. Um, part is how to do the basic shape anyway. These are just the details. Let's see. Let's... Okay. Hmm. It looks sweet. I like this one. 
so yeah uh, I hope this was helpful to you please let me know in the comments uh, what I did wrong what I could do better or if you have any sort of questions uh, I would be very help uh, I would be very thankful for any sort of feedback I'm still starting with this show it's my first episode after all and yeah I heavily rely on your critique on your constructive critique please uh, don't just tell me I suck and that's it but please tell me why I suck okay uh, and yeah I hope you liked it if you did then maybe you want to consider subscribing because I will re I will release more of this kind of videos uh, I'm thinking about the next one will be about how to draw lion of Steven Universe uh, but let's see and um, this won't be the only cat tutorial video <coughs> But there will be also others. Uh, this was just a tutorial about how to draw the basic shape uh, of the face. But, <laughs> well, the cat still had uh, this body to them, like the rest, you know. Um, and also, there are different breeds of cats, so maybe I will do a tutorial of several different cats. Uh, and also the emotional states like if when she's relaxed or tired um, or frightened I won't frighten those two now or angry but this will be for another time for now I thank you for watching and have fun drawing bye